This next award uh, was actually created because uh, of the Second war Lebanese War. Uh, we, we were just after the Lebanese War, and we didn't know if the tourism industry was going to be affected by it. Uh, and at that time, a call went out from the Christian Embassy, from Malcolm Hedding and Jurgen and the many people who worked there, to come as never before. And more Christian tours came that year, I think, than any other year of the, of the Feast of the Tabernacles. We were so astonished by that outpouring of love that we decided to initiate the, the, the Tourism Award, the Christian Islands Caucus Tourism Award, together with the Ministry of Tourism. Here to present the award from the Ministry of Tourism is the director, directory director? Deputy, Deputy Director, Rafi Benkor. Uh, before we call you away, I'm going to tell everyone, first of all, with the permission of my uh, the ex-minister, uh, Mr. Uh, Benny Alon, Rabbi Benny Alon, I have the privilege to call him Ben, uh, Rabbi Benny Alon. Uh, actually, uh, he taught me how to love God and uh, how to make uh, how to learn uh, to make the connection with beautiful people like you. Before his attention, I didn't know anything. And uh, I hope that I learned fast. Uh, and in one of the occasions, I got a phone call from Tom Hess. It was uh, something like 8 o'clock in the morning. Tom calls me and he says, listen, Rafi, we have a problem. I said, what? I got a vision that uh, there is a terrorist attack going to, to happen. You know, in the beginning, I wanted, uh, you know, uh, to laugh. It sounds uh, a joke. But you know, it was a time of uh, terrorist attack. I said, listen, Rafi, if you can contact uh, some people and tell them about that. But anyway, I'm praying and I hope to diminish as much as possible the damage of this uh, attack. And you know, I'll tell you the truth, four hours later, uh, it was a terrorist attack in uh, Ariel, and uh, really the damage was very small. And uh, I don't know, uh, probably uh, the faith that you have, it's something that uh, you can't compare with anyone else. It's so strong. And you make your decision so strong. And you know how to move things so strong. And it's not just faith, but a combination of being so clever and wise. And with faith, I think it's the best, uh, best combination. And I want to say one thing, which uh, we didn't mention here, all this discussion. And it's very important for me, and I would like, and I know that Benny Alon and David Rothkem are all this organization doing a great job. <clears throat> I think that one of our problems as Israelis that we don't know enough how to appreciate your support to Israel. Mr. Benny Alon, the fact that the greatest um, a uh, tourism event every year in Israel. There is no bigger event, tourism event, but it's the Feast of Tabernacle. And this uh, feast is being organized by Mr. Mr. Heading and uh, his wonderful organization. And you. And you know what? The biggest and you. The, 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 the biggest, and you know, I'm not counting all of them. But I'm counting the, 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 the biggest now. Last year they had 700, 800, 7,800, and it was the largest number ever. And I'm, I'm hope, and I, I hope, and I wish that next year they're going to have more. But the fact is that uh, they have to struggle uh, with us about having the people to be here with us to do the job. And I know, and I can hear everyone that uh, 
I heard from another one, I don't want to mention name, that they don't have volunteer now because they sent the volunteer back because of Minister of the Interior. I'm making fights, wars, and I know that you're doing a lot of wars about it, but we have, no, we have to know, this is the time that we have to understand and to know how to dis distinguish between uh, people that are smiling to and we don't uh, mean and uh, like you know, all those that you're against it, all the peace uh, smile all over, and to our real allies, that they are the best for us, for the Hasbara. If you take the Christian embassy, you have, uh, you have one, 170 branches all over the world. It's like Israeli embassies. And uh, if you take, uh, if you take uh, uh, all nation, uh, convocation that, uh, that Tom has organizing. It's more delegation, and it's more uh, people and uh, ambassadors that we have all over the world. And we have to understand and educate our people and to make them to know how to give a hand and, and to pull you on our wagon to be uh, a real official that helping and doing for Israel. So I'm going back to uh, Tom Hess, and you know Tom Hess every year he got a bigger convention. If I was, uh, uh, if I was Mr. Uh, 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 if I was the head of the uh, uh, the head of the Christian Embassy, I would start to afraid because last year he had almost 2,000, and you know every year is going to have more and more. And now, when he had Katie with him, so we can, you know, what he's doing, Katie doing at least 60% of what he's doing. So they're going to succeed a lot. And, and uh, with your permission, and with permission of Khabar Knesset Rotem, and uh, all, all the honorable people, ex Khabar Knesset Ha'etzli, which we've been raised on his ideology all our life. And uh, with all our oh, love to you, I would like to call you Tom and Katie to have this award. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to receive this award on behalf of uh, All Nations Convocation in Jerusalem for Katie and I to receive this. And I'd like to thank uh, the World Jewish Congress, and I'd like to thank Benny Alone and the uh, Christian Allies Caucus. Uh, it's a great honor and joy to share uh, to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel in his city, Jerusalem, and biblical Zionism and tourism. For the last 21 years, I've had the joy to live on the Mount of Olives, not far from where Benny started the yeshiva. And 21 months ago, Kate and I got married and we're living together there on the Mount of Olives. And uh, it's also interesting that God's, uh, over the last uh, 21 years, we've had the privilege to serve to see leaders and delegates come from over 225 nations to come up to Jerusalem to worship uh, the God of Israel and to, to help them uh, to experience the land of milk and honey, to enjoy the land of milk and honey and to help to teach them to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and to stand with God's covenant for Jerusalem and for Israel. And we've had the privilege of taking dozens of trips through the covenantal heartland of Israel to Shechem, uh, Alain Moray, to Bethel with uh, Rabbi Benny, to Hebron, to Jerusalem, where God uh, where Abraham established the covenantal pillars of Israel. And we thank God that many Christians around the world are standing with God's covenant with Israel in these last days. And also we've had the privilege of taking them to many uh, Christian sites uh, where Jesus was in this land. Uh, in the year 2000, uh, we had the privilege of having 200 nations in Jerusalem at one time. Uh, I still don't know how it happened. I don't know that it can ever happen again, but somehow our people were working day and night and they came from 200 nations and we 
leaders from 200 nations went to Yad Vashem and repented uh, with with the, uh, the chairman, the chairman of Yad Vashem for anti-Semitism, for the Holocaust, and for replacement theology. And everyone was weeping and it was, it was an awesome experience. And then in the year 2002, we had the privilege of bringing the survivors of the St. Louis ship uh, to Israel together as a team. Most of them had never been to Israel before. And four years ago, uh, we joined together with the Christian Allies Caucus, and every year during uh, the fall feast, we have a gathering of Christian leaders, government leaders from all over the world. They've come from every continent, parliament members, uh, different government leaders from every parliament, and many nations of the world, and we look forward to the joy of doing this again with Rabbi Benny Alone and the Christian Allies Caucus this coming uh, October. I am humbled and honored uh, to receive this award on behalf of ANCJ. Uh, and we give all the glory to the God of Israel because only he is worthy of receiving any glory. Amen? Amen. I want to personally thank Rabbi Benny alone and the Christian Allies Caucus for their stand for a united Jerusalem and a united Israel and for justice, also for the Arabs. I was so touched when I saw in Benny Lone's peace plan, the first point of it is to help to bring justice and to help the Arabs in the refugee camps throughout uh, this nation. And we pray that tens of millions and even hundreds of millions more Jewish and Christian tourists will continue to enjoy the God of Israel and the whole land of Israel as we prepare the way for the coming of the King of Glory. So David said in Psalms chapter 24, he said, Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. He lifted up you everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. And I believe we need to pray that God will raise up a leader in Israel in these days as we prepare for the day of Messiah, whenever that will be. That God will raise up a leader in Israel like King David that can lead Israel towards their destiny and to the future. How many people believe God, that someone like the seventh son of Jesse, that God could raise up someone, a covenantal man, like King David, to lead Israel to their destiny. God bless you. Thank you. It's a joy and an honor to serve together with the Jewish people to see God's destiny come forth. And we believe for tens, hundreds of millions of tourists to come up together. God bless you. Jim. Kate, we thank you for all that you do, Mazel Tov. We'd like to thank all of you for being with us here today, and a special thanks again to the World Jewish Congress, Odette Aran, Ambassador, who really uh, went all out to make us feel welcome and to put on this event. It's a tremendous, uh, tremendous honor to work with the World Jewish Congress. We look forward to next year as well. Thank you to all of you, and I hope to uh, see you all very soon. And that we will definitely uh, have more opportunities in the year to come to work together because it's not all about celebrations and uh, <laughs> cocktail parties as we know. Thank you. Enjoy Israel at your fingertips with www.israelvision.tv.